So the big discussion that's going on right now within the Halo community is did Joseph Staten get fired? Because we currently understand the narrative of him leaving the studio because he was only supposed to be temporarily whatever, but then seemed like he wanted to stay, but then ended up leaving anyways. And some recent information has come up, especially with the Mint Blitz video coming out, citing a particular person on Twitter's uh, information, which I don't really find to be super credible as a source about Halo, saying that Joseph Staten was actually fired from Microsoft caught up in those layoffs that happened back in early January 23. Which some parts of this narrative don't seem to line up for me. So let's follow the timeline of events that actually happened and see if this Joseph Stain being fired is actually true or maybe not fully understood facts. Also, I have to say, if you guys enjoy these type of videos, make sure you like and subscribe. It helps out the video and the channel a ton. Now let's get right into those details. So the news first broke out about Joseph Stain leaving Microsoft back in April of 2023, which is a full four months after the actual layoffs happened at Microsoft with the 10,000 people getting laid off and mainly the campaign team getting hit with those layoffs over at 343. And what team was Joseph Stain mainly a part of? the campaign side of things. And later that day, Joseph Staten would go on to confirm that he is leaving Microsoft, but also stating that he's embarking on a new adventure. And just 10 days later, Joseph Staten came out saying that he actually is moving over to work at Netflix Gaming, which is a crazy thing to hear about that Netflix is making video games nowadays, but that's what they're doing. Like, that's the weird thing about this whole thing. Like, if someone gets fired, they don't generally have another job lined up right after it. And we know that Joseph Staten was originally brought on to 343 to be part of just the team to kind of help get Halo Infinite over the edge, right? And he certainly did the best he could in that situation. And Joseph Staten certainly wasn't unfamiliar with hopping between games towards the end of their development cycle, because you can see right here, a friend of the channel, Uber Nick, kind of shared this bit of information about how many games he helped kind of push across the edge right there where he wasn't really part of like the main team, right? He came as a creative director to kind of help things out when it comes to just the development of games. That's just kind of his job over there at Microsoft to kind of just help games get across the edge, help teams prioritize things and just kind of be like the fixer almost in a way. You can see here we have Halo Infinite multiplayer, Halo Infinite campaign, let's say as head of creative and then like a special thanks for another game as Dusk Falls and then right after that Killer Instinct in 2013 as head of narrative design. And so why would Joseph Stain continue to work on Microsoft products when he was fired at 343? Because even though we like to think 343 is its own standalone business, it's not. It's just what Microsoft labels that Halo team. So if Joseph Stain was actually fired at Microsoft, why would he be able to continue working on Microsoft products? It did seem a bit contradictory though, right, for Joseph Stain to leave because he seemed pretty excited about working at Halo. And this interview right here that Joseph Stain had with IGN back in November of 2021, Joseph Stain seemed like he wanted to stay with Halo. Is this a permanent thing or are we just, you just kind of renting right now? Are you? <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's what I said before. I mean, I, I have not felt this energized in a very long time. I'm genuinely excited about the opportunity here. So why would Joseph Staten want to leave 343, right? Got a chance to jump back in and work on Halo, the franchise that he clearly loves and enjoyed creating, making such an established franchise there. But of course, this was soon after the launch of Halo Infinite, and we know how that's been since, uh, yeah, not that great. And why would Microsoft want to keep a talent like Joseph Staten stuck in Halo when they've clearly been only divesting from Halo Infinite specifically. Started off with those layoffs back in early 2023, and then on top of that, now we are getting operations, which are basically you get one armor set and a bunch of shop items to spend money in. I mean, does that sound like an environment you really want to work in? Does that sound like something you can progress your career in? Not really, especially for a guy like Joseph Stain, like he's already made his name. He wants to go and try out many bigger things to be more involved with the projects. And I'm sure he's getting that at Netflix. He definitely wasn't getting that over at 343. And if you look at every single higher up management person at 343, they've all pretty much have left 343 Industries after the launch of Halo Infinite. So there was pretty much like a new guard there. The, the old guard of 343 is not really there anymore. There's also been this information to go around that 343 does not want to hire Bungie people, even though they literally did with Joseph Staten. I can kind of understand why, because it seems like the old guard at 343 
had a lot of pride in what they did, right? They felt like their vision of Halo was the vision to go forward with, and they didn't want to have people being like, whoa, back in my day, we used to do it this way, contradicting them. They, you know, it can cause a bit of a mess, right? And also can potentially undermine leadership as well when you have someone who, in the group of employees who might hold that single employee in a higher regard than the actual leadership, definitely could cause some issues there. And from the people I've talked to who worked at 343 when Joe was there, people loved that Joe was working at 343 and they viewed him as like a visionary and like a great source of inspiration. And so when he left the team, it really hit them hard in a morale type of way. But I do feel like the upper management people at 343 have had like too much pride in what they did for for working in Halo, right? Like. I feel like it's been kind of repeating itself over and over again that they just wanted to try to distance themselves as much as possible from what Bungie made, which was so incredible. They didn't want to work within the shadow of Bungie and Classic Halo. They wanted to make their own version of the game so people were like, we want 343 Halo games, you know, and not worry about those Bungie games anymore, which they were close. They got close a couple times. I will give them that. But still, the Bungie games still kind of hold higher regard. But the thing is also that, like, you're making Halo, you're always going to be in the shadow of Bungie. I feel like once the upper management and maybe even Microsoft themselves kind of realize that they're just going to forever be within that shadow of Bungie because that original trilogy is so crucial to gaming history as a whole that, like, it's tough to detach yourself from that. Like, you're making Halo. That's what people think of Halos 1, 2, and 3. And bringing Joseph Staten on actually kind of showed us that they're willing to embrace the past and acknowledge it and, you know, have people who with great insight and knowledge and expertise within a specific franchise to be able to propel it to a higher level. But of course that didn't happen. Also when doing my research, I feel like I need to show this to you guys about this current information going on with the on Reddit right, right here. But saying that 343 fired Joseph Staten after Halo Infinite, even though he wanted to continue, as I showcased you guys earlier, the post was actually removed by the moderators. And the moderators stated, saying it was removed for misinformation. The source is a legitimate, verified schizophrenic who has harassed and lied about employees for a decade. That's very true. Our favorite leaky boy on the channel, Sarasia, did state saying Joe Stain didn't get fired. Are y'all stupid enough to believe Haley now or what? And Haley right here is an interesting character on Twitter. If you guys know about Haley, you definitely are within the Twitter weeds when it comes to. Halo Twitter because their stuff is just so weird and clearly has a bias against 343 and wants to disparage them as much as possible. Recently went into the, the whole thing about uh, with uh, Nick over here, a uh, 343 employee, saying that he's kind of uncomfortable about making games about guns but can do it with Halo because it's a little detached and like how promote to bully this employee to where they deleted the tweet and again, kind of went offline again. So it's like, this I, if people are starting to believe this person has a credible source, it's just like, okay, I think we're just really bored and really desperate for some any form of Halo news right now. And I feel like that's what the recent feels when it comes to just the Halo community right now is that like, we are all just so desperate for just anything new to happen within the Halo franchise. That like once we hear something that's somewhat juicy or informational that like we just hop on it and run with it as news man i, I can understand that because a lot of leaks that we hear about halo and 343 and microsoft are true you know for pretty much every leak we've ever heard about halo infinite has been accurate so when you hear another leak you're like well this is probably true as well then well this one again is a little different as i stated earlier that's the reddit mods removed the post because some information is incredible. The person clearly has a bias to try to disparage 343 in every single post possible. So was Joe Sustain fired by 343? Probably not. Kind of sound like he was along for the ride and as long as they wanted him there, he'd stay there. Do you guys think that Joseph Stan was fired or do you think he left on his own accord? Personally, I think he left on his own accord, but I want to see what you guys have to say. If you made it this far into the video, Make sure you leave a green heart, show who, where the real ones really are in the chat. If you missed any videos from me recently, check out these right here, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.